Morning from a well-rested exam coach. Ready to smash the work again today, hitting the books hard, working towards those aims. from the exam coach. Today I'm going to be talking about exams, what they are and how I think about them in order to pass them. Wake up and make your day magic. Magic in the morning. With this is the exam coach. Lunchtime for me at the moment at the desk unfortunately. Uh, it's been a very busy morning. And uh, I'm just cracking on, getting things... Personally, I'd never recommend having lunch at your desk. I've just had a busy morning this morning. Didn't even get my workout in. Don't worry, I'll do it later. But try not to do that. So the routine's gone out the window today. Uh, haven't stuck to it at all. Need to catch up. Everybody has days like this. And it also means that... It means that I'm not going to be able to go to D-Town and let the D-Towners know that I'm driving the A-Train to A-Town. Now... Please screw that. I'm uh, currently in D-Town on my way, ready to rock and roll. Pushing around this morning, putting stuff in the car. Forgot to put the snap board in the car. Saw that I hadn't put it in and then I was like, oh, sod it, I can't go to D-Town without the snap board. Thought, just look like a bit of a chopper just standing there without a snap board. And just being like, yo, I'm the exam coach. Remember that guy who's donning 10 news? And I just thought, I'm not having that. I'm going to D-Town and I'm going to go and get him. Detail, the underpass outside my hometown station, Bracknell. I'm going to start telling some people about the exam coach. Don't have the snap board today, but uh, I've got the gear on. I've uh, got a pen, a piece of paper, so look fairly academic. Detail done for today. Uh, not many stories like yesterday. Just said hello to a few people, told them I was the exam coach, and I guess I just showed up. Uh, it's just a quick message from me. So I go out to D-Town every day and I try and tell as many people as I can about the exam coach because it matters to me. I think it's good and I think I'm scratching my own itch. It's the product that when I was at school wasn't there. We didn't have something like the exam coach when I was at school and this is why I made it. Like what I'm doing, please, please, please tell some people about it. It could be your brother, your sister, your best friends, your parents, your teachers, anyone. Exams don't come along every day but it's very important that you get it right. So maybe that person would appreciate you pointing them in the right direction. Earlier today, I said I was going to tell you about how I think about exams in order to help myself pass them. So I drew this little table out earlier. Uh, sorry, it's a bit messy and crumpled. I did it on the way to D-Town. I was in a bit of a rush. But I thought, you know, I'd keep it the same because it's authentic. For me, exams consist of three sections. Foundation, understanding, nailing it. And this also comprises the fun exam plan which is the main program. The foundation really consists of believing you can actually do it in the first place, committing to it, so saying I am actually going to put the work in and then sticking to your routine. The second key skill, understanding, what comes under this is your revision techers, asking your teachers the questions and repeating the practice. Obviously I don't mean hammering it into your noggin in the literal sense but it is just about repeating the process over and over again, and then eventually it will stick. In. in the nailing it part, you've got to keep that cool, calm focus pre and post exam. So you're executing the routines the exam coach way. Probably still asking, how does this help, and why will thinking about exams in this way benefit me? Good question. Breaking it down in this way, we can see that there are three things that make up great exam preparation and performance. And you can identify what you need to improve on. So, for example, let's say you've got the understanding. You've done the revision, you've got the techers, you've asked the questions, and you've repeated it loads. But when you get in the exam hall, you start panicking, you lose focus, you start veering away from the exam coach routines, and you just can't get the information down. How much information you know or how much you understand, you're not going to be hitting A-Town if you can't nail it on the day. Vice versa, if you've got the nailing it, if you've got the cool, calm focus, if you've got the routines nailed down, but you don't know the information, then guess what? You're not going to be hitting A-Town anytime soon. Likewise, if you haven't got the foundation, if you don't actually believe you can do it and you don't commit to the work and set in place the routines, these two things aren't going to happen. To summarise, that is how I think about exams. There are a three-step process. I break them down in that way. 
and I know that I need to be doing all three of those things to hit to hit A Town. I'm driving the A train this year. I've told you that many times before. I'm hitting A Town, and what you can do is you can hop on and find yourself a nice seat. Hey, told you I'd get it in, eh? Gonna hit that bad boy. Just 20 mins, take the stress out of the day. Cracking finish to the day. The main reason I'm wearing this hat is because it's very sunny in here. Don't want the sun getting in my eyes. Thanks so much to everybody who shared the message earlier, who let someone know about the exam coach and the exam coach way. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.